Such a quaint little town here in La Zultuna. No one's corrected me on my pronunciation of that, by the way, so I'm just rolling with it. Okay, <laughs> that uh, that's all I'm saying. Okay, I'm I'm putting my hands up. If, if there's an actual way of pronouncing this place's name, please let me know. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the uh, seasons. Of, oh no, this isn't the season of silver. Eden burning. That that's the one that we're uh, that's the one that we're in. The one that has the worst air quality problem ever. But in our situation, it's actually improving, which I'm very very happy about. So, as you can clearly see, we didn't get the gold. Wasn't going to go for it anyway at this point. But what we are going to work on are the badges, which I think those are actually going to be kind of cool. Uh, we have a couple of our woodcutting or foresters working at the moment. But as you can clearly see, we go through a lot of wood. Okay, it's really bad. So, we have to keep mitigating all this air quality problems. But we're actually like getting to a good threshold. Overall, we're at 91%. But what we need to start working on now is phase two of this monstrosity. So what we're actually going to need are 900 Obrero workforce, 90, or I'm sorry, 60 tools, 90 bricks, and 120 steel beams. Now, herein lies the problem. You see this? Minus 15 is terrible. Terrible. But we can only probably at this stage just only utilize the one. Right, and I'm gonna put this bad boy like right here where we have this other trade union because that's gonna help it out with the air quality a considerable amount along with the Perforian machine. Now, this one, what I'm actually thinking of doing is swapping out this one because it's actually not being used for this one, and that's gonna help out even more because that's minus 50% eco impact. So this should this thing should be around like seven, I would imagine. Let's see. Let's see it actually work. Okay, so I think we're above, or we're getting close. The threshold for events. Okay, so we don't want events to happen. And we're gonna pass that in a hot second. Yes. Okay. We're we're slowly slowing down. Go, 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 go. A little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. Oh man. I feel relieved. <laughs> okay, so what we need for this thing is a stable amount of iron, and then we also need coal, of which we do have this coal mine Twice over here. To take time to learn. But my thing is, do we actually have enough coal for this? We do. The iron, on the other hand, is a bit difficult to really pan out, but that's because... Stand aside, boss. Don't get dirt on your fancy shoes. I feel like we can optimize the mines a little bit. Can we? Would it be under miscellaneous? Okay, yeah. So, going back to the previous episode, I didn't read. Okay? This one is for iron. This one is for copper. Moving on. Uh, Let's go. Animal farms, animal farms, no water purifiers. I, I just feel like there's nothing really for like the steel beam stuff uh but i don't need to have it running all the time these are for crop farms and that's another aqua farm for fish eggs and then costia also told me about the uh the negative impact when it comes to i think it's uh, water quality right here for these particular items they will help out a considerable amount in making sure that we don't actually deplete all of the fishing shoals so do we actually have and thank you so much for doing so i really appreciate it i want to try to see if i can get this thing i don't know do we actually have a um is there a harbor master somewhere around here or is it just trade unions i want to imagine it's just trade unions well if that's the case then uh i'm going to just put this bad boy right here link that up and then we are going to literally move this thing because I don't want to, like, fully go through all of my fish here. And this one also helps... Or which one is it? That's the water purifier production. That's for fishery. There we go. So we're going to put the coral in there. Uh, this one, animal farms. Yeah, I need to really work on that aspect. Uh, let's just do this for now. Because this also allows them to get back up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That should be pretty good. 
And then there's another one over there. So we're essentially just going to move this one from time to time. Let's get they don't need us. these two things working. Steelworks is only five. Okay, that's pretty good. Brick factory will probably be a little bit more. So we're going to plop this thing in there. Hopefully we'll be good on that front. And then the timber is, or the wood production needs to continue in earnest. We only have a little bit coming out from here. Uh, let's get one over 69 trees. Let's get this one going. And then we're going to get probably this one here going. That way we have enough timber as well, just in case when we want to like upgrade the settlement and whatnot. What are you Still missing? waiting for it to arrive. Oh, yes. Okay, so that's definitely the thing. So we're going to need a lot of wood then, apparently. Oh, yeah, we do. That's not good. Where can I put some more? That'll be at 100. This is at 100, but I have to also factor in that they're not going to replant everything. They're just going to, like, go through it like no tomorrow and just call it a day. Uh, I'm going to try to build a bridge across because this is actually a really good spot. So we'll just keep that there for the long term. And then this is also a really good spot over in here. I'm going to utilize... Oops, wrong thing. There we go. Now, how is that looking? Okay, so now we're at 20. And then the fisheries are also doing well. Thank you. Oh, there seems to be a quest over here. I'm sure there is a way you can help us thrive. Oh, nice. Okay, so uh, we're investigating a new method for measuring water pollution based on the com contaminants found in Flotsam. Would you equip the trash filter to gather some? I knew you wouldn't turn on us. Do I have to? Like, is this an absolute need? I mean, I guess. Do, like, I'll just go for... How many of the... Like, Oh, I have a lot of the drip coffee pots, don't I? Uh, but how much fish do I have? I even have a decent amount of fish. Stations. You know what? I'm just going to go with the basic one. Because they go through a lot of fish, like no tomorrow, and I don't really want to waste it too, too much. And this is good, because we're still plus one, two with air quality. That's not bad. It's mostly because I have to get these things to uh, work constantly. And this thing, once I actually get up to the necessary amount for the next phase of the dam, I'm just going to stop it. The ropes. All right, so we're going to need this. Thank you. And we are... Made all the rancheras I know. So this one is pretty much done, isn't it? We have some over here. Are they back? No, they're not. They're out, out. Okay. Not gonna bother with this thing out in the middle doing absolutely nothing. Stations. Okay, let's get that in here, and then we're gonna equip it back into this trade union. You never let me down. I'm actually, like, before I was complaining about the fact that we were getting, like, one additional herbarium in here. But we are going for that achievement, or the badge, rather, to get 20 in there. So, I just have to find where to get more. Unless there's, like, stuff offshore still that we can we can get some. So, like, there's some fish shoals over there. Uh, it doesn't seem like I can find any more. This is going to be one for later, so we have that already set up. But yeah, finding the herbarium is probably the most taxing part of this. And obviously we need to get the herbarium up a lot more. Okay, so... He's not special here, but what do you expect? I mean, a little gratitude for a start, but I mean, it's up to you, man. You, you, you do you, okay? You do you. These guys won't upgrade because they're not close enough to the water pump, nor are they close enough to a market, which the market's right here. And a lot of it's because I'm not actually paving the roads, because I think that's actually going to be a waste, considering how it's actually difficult to get this production up and running. You know what I mean? Well, I'm kind of considering... Um... This is limited use, destroyed upon use fully. Yeah. But this thing would actually be pretty useful. I, I'm going to do that. 
I'm gonna do that. Let me, uh, get... No, not that. I need one of that. I need ten of this. And was it the coffee? Yeah, I need... Well, I need two. Well, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Well, I have to do it. And then, uh, 20 coffee. No, why my thing is 20? It's only 10. First class. I have tea with me today. So, that's a whole different story. Hola. Does this actually impact... Oh, there's a... Ooh. So, when we run out, we run out. But we are maxed out on clay. So, okay, that's not too, too bad. Okay. Stations. I would like to craft this one, please. Thank you. And then we're going to put that in this one because it's definitely going to be better than that. Because I can already see the air quality is going down a wee bit. Ready the ropes. In that in there, please. And then I want to swap you out and put this. And then that should help more, right? Workforce thing kind of sucks, but so long as it doesn't go like under a certain point, I guess we're good. Soil quality is phenomenal. Water quality is phenomenal. I hate this air quality thing so much. I don't want to upgrade anything. I, I really don't. Uh, time being... Hey, baka! Why are you yelling at me? Jesus, you hear that guy? Like, excuse me for existing. <laughs> uh, another forester hut... Probably in here would do wonders, so we're gonna get that going. Is it a 100% cultivation area? Or they might actually be fully done here. 35, yeah. I'm just gonna keep moving these things into areas that we don't have any trees. Yeah, like that's a good spot for it. I'm gonna get off of uh, blueprint mode. Let's put one right here, because that's a really big spot. I would definitely like to get some in there. Uh, as far as, like, the other chains are concerned, they are doing all right. Let's see what homes we can... I, I love the fact that we turned this into a pirate cove. It's so funny. Uh, let's get these guys upgraded. We'll also get these guys, and, well, we can't do more. Uh, unless we actually put down some homes. And I think we can do that again. We'll put these guys down over here. And we'll upgrade these ones. They will balance out. So we're above 900. We can get this thing started. I will actually start it up once this reaches 120. So then we can focus more on the bricks and then the tools. The thing is, right, these guys are also utilizing the tools. And I have a feeling that... Oh, we still, we're still okay. We're, we're still good. So we're gaining some. Thankfully, the other stuff is holding steady. I'm very happy about that. This whole iron thing, on the other hand, not too good. Was there any... Uh, yeah, that's what I was looking for. As far as miscellaneous are concerned... Communal garden, no. Oh, okay, see, like, the recycling specialist is actually really, really good in this spot. I'm doing I... it. I, I have to do it. What, what did he need again? Uh, he needed two herbarium, ten tools, and ten of that. Okay. Two herbarium... 10 of this, 10 of this. Th this guy is going to come so in handy right now. It's unbelievable. The less these guys actually need to use, the better we can actually, and more effectively, we can upgrade our settlement. To have more people and consume less goods, because that's the whole thing the with this place. All right, get this guy. He even has a smile, so he's a cool dude. Steady right, in here. I, I love our pirate hideout. It's so funny. <laughs> I don't think they were ever considering this. Like, anybody would find this little Easter egg. I'm calling it an Easter egg. Frigate first class. All right, you go in here, and then you are going to be put right in here. So, minus 10% reduction on tool consumption, uh, work clothes, fedoras, fantastic. So that will actually allow us to stockpile a little bit more, won't it? I would imagine so. Especially when we upgrade them all to Abreras, which is going to be... Whew, yeah, that's going to be a, you a can rule hell in a handbasket right there. 
I just feel like can I set this on a patrol route? Yeah, let's just I, I kind of <laughs> this is a weird thing about me. Whenever Bring there's fog of patrol. war, I kind of like to take my ships at some point and get rid of as much of it as I can. This is so weird what I'm doing. I know. Get that over to here. It's a frigate, so it's fast enough. It'll it'll do the job. And if I need to find it, it's easy to just find real quick. Get this over here, over to there. Over there, over there, over there. This also incentivizes me not to um use the ship too much for the abarium. And then I guess we'll just uh get this little spot done. Hopefully this is actually going to work. And let it patrol. Yep, it's going. I don't know what direction it's going to go in first, but I put a whole bunch of little <laughs> buoys down so it'll find something. All right, we're over 100 with the steel beams, and that's very good. Uh, we need to, honestly, I mean, because this is already holding stable. That's pretty good, too. <sighs> At least we can build charcoal. That That's all I'm saying. At least we can have some charcoal kilns over here. Uh, ooh, palm tree? Wait, does that actually... That affects soil quality. Oh, intriguing. Calchuk plantation. I didn't look at these. Oh, well, yeah, there's there's the next thing that we're gonna have to actually build. All right, we're plus seven with the abers, or the, um, oh no, that was, sorry. And we have the other stuff that's actually being produced. So this is actually really good now. Uh, why, sh why do I have a feeling I should just go ahead and start this phase? E yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start it up. So at least I know where the workforce is going. And the drip coffee is doing relatively well. The only problem is that like we only have two of these iron mines and they actually require iron. So do these things. So it's kind of a bit of a ugh, moment, if I'm being honest with you. I'd rather get bricks in here than actual timber. All right, so is my ship doing what it needs to do? Yeah, but it's a frigate, so it's going to take forever at certain points. I want to start searching around, you know? I feel like there's stuff that I might be able to acquire for, like, the abarium stuff. You never know. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's one. Nice. Okay, so my, my evil plan worked. <laughs> Is that it? Please tell me that's not it. I mean, it should, like... Production has stopped. You just started, and now you stopped? Come on, man. I have a feeling there's a quest line with this tree, but I need to honestly figure it out can you go for a walk through here i wonder if you could i'm gonna try it i mean it hasn't stopped us quite yet maybe that is one thing that we need to turn just casually walking through some mizoan ruins i've never actually done this in this particular scenario oh now i'm stuck okay i'm gonna go this way I feel like there might be something we can figure out by just zooming in on these buildings that we can potentially start turning. Like, these things are still intact. They might be useful somewhere. All right, let's head up further. Uh, nothing here, nothing there, but we're go reaching the tippy top of this thing now. I hear the uh, waterfall over in the corner. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> That's really funny. As all the other Anno games put in a one. That's pretty cool. 1404, 1800. Oh, this is 2012, and it's got a... Oh, look at that. Look at that big smile. But you did find some Easter eggs over in here. Now, just expect something to just pop out out of nowhere. 
Okay, so this is that big tree, so we can't do much about that. That's where uh, Tula the turtle is. I want to go see how she's doing. Is there a way to get over there? Can I jump? I feel like Tomb Raider. Let's get over in this corner. Nope, it's not letting me. That's unfortunate. Well, yeah, I, I want to try to, like, explore a little bit more. Because if we can get the herbarium and stuff going... Yeah, so there's the calendar. We saw that for sure. Okay, where is that thing? Okay, so I can't click that one. I can't click any of these. Oh, I didn't go to this building in the back. But clearly there has to do something with this whole chain right over here of uh, Mizoan ruins. So I want to... Oh, unique plants. Look at where I found it. Right in the freaking corner, dude. Outstanding. So that means that there should be more unique plants and whatnot around here somewhere. They're really difficult to find. And I don't typically like to just sit and wait and, you know, try to search for it like this. I feel like that's kind of a waste of time, but I don't really know what else to do at the moment. Oh, oh, I just saw something. I just saw something. You see that? There it is. Unique plants. Three herbarium. Looking good. How many do we even have now? 15. We need five more for the, uh, for the badge. And they should just, like, populate over time, I would imagine, right? Can't see anything else over here. It's like an odd shape of green, you know? It's probably someone sitting behind their computer right now and be like, You just passed, like, four of them, moron! Yeah, I know, I know. Maybe in here? Nope, I don't see anything. I'm just kind of like guiding my cursor over everything here. Can't see anything quite yet. If anything, they would be along the edges, I feel. Like, they wouldn't mess with you that much, right? Oh, there might be some over in here. I haven't checked these little guys. Oh, there we go. What's that? Oh. Oh, there's some more. Oh, some more. Wait a minute. How many do I have? I have 21. Did I get the badge? I have 20 tons of herbarium in stock. Is it not just like that? Okay, please tell me that didn't glitch out on me. That would be really depressing if it did. I want to at least make this campaign a little bit of a success, you know? Not, not a lot. I'm just asking for a little bit over here. And it seems like we are producing enough of the bricks for this right now. How many of the steel beams do we still need? We're at 36, and they're constantly bringing more, so that's all right with me. What should we do? Let's see about... We um... could be better. I'm sure of it. Oh, right, because I'm providing this... Or one of these people are actually providing fedoras. No, 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 I'm sorry. I have fedoras in here. I only have two. So this is actually something we're going to have to do. Palm tree plantation. I kind of want to build this thing. And I want to put it probably where this is. Because this is pretty much done. Let's get a palm tree plantation put right over here. It's going to impact the soil quality just a little bit. But I want to imagine that we do actually have enough alpaca wool. We do not. That's fantastic. But what we can do is we can... Consider building another corn plantation over here instead of where this thing is working. So we do have that one. Uh, let's do that. Let's go ahead and get another corn. We can actually put it right here because it's not touching that one. We need it not to touch that one because when you actually get within the radius, it turns red. So we need it to be like right over here. And we are going to extend this and just essentially build another farm right here in this corner. I don't know if we'll be able to fit one here, mostly where this trade union is. If I move it forward one, I think I might be able to get around it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's bring it forward by two. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't do that. I can't do that. Yeah, I don't want to do that. 
if I the reason is like if I use it in any which way, shape, or form, it's gonna impact the amount of bricks I already have right now. Uh, we can put this thing right here though. And we can build it up to like here-ish. Gonna uh, use the little good old shift technique right over there. The land has to be prepared first. Oh, this is actually oh my god. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So wait, this thing actually requires bricks, doesn't it? Oh no, it just requires uh timber. Okay. So we will put a palm tree plantation. Stand aside, boss. Right over here. I think this is actually gonna look rather nice in the position that we're putting it. And over to here. Okay. So you guys are gonna work one every 30 seconds. This needs to start now, and it's gonna really impact the water quality, but to be perfectly honest with you, I don't care. Let's put this right here, and then three and four, because this is also gonna be another 30 seconds. A felt producer right here would be kind of good but this actually does require bricks so let's pause wait is that steady right now hold on what can i stop i'm gonna stop the this more the merrier. all right thank you let's stop that let's get two of these things you going. should go sit in the shade no i don't need to sit in the shade homie you can though you do what you gotta do because you're over here rebuilding this freaking dam. Or this thing wasn't even there. It was just a generator, wasn't it? So they're just building the dam in order to, what, have electricity in here and all that good stuff? I see. Yeah, I have a feeling my game might have glitched out on me again. Because uh, if this is telling me that we need to have 20 tons of herbarium in stock... I, now, I'm not a mathematical genius, but I am moronic at times. That says 21 to me. Our fish is also going down. Can y'all stop eating this much fish? For the love of God. Well, I mean, if it's already messed up, then... Oh, I can only get one of that? Oh, okay, that sucks. That really sucks. Okay, well, if that's the case, then I'm going to need to get the ship back over here. Get some more corn and some more drip coffee and get that other item and put it in here that sucks man okay you're Keep you're done patrolling constant. you're done patrolling i can also temporarily just stop this just to get what i need for the other buildings yeah that's let's just do that for now I just need enough for this. Oh, I do. Okay, so I built that. And then the fedora chain requires... Oh, okay, so... Oh, oh, okay, it's kind of like the bombins. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So I'll just put this, like, right here. That should be pretty good. And you can start up again. Sorry about that. Get going. And then when you get back over here, we're going to use some of the herbarium, and we're going to get this item. Okay, that's actually not bad either. Dietary advice. Increased per consumption of fish is terrible. I might actually want to do this too. To get the uh, aqua farms. Some more fish eggs. But I'm worried about the drip coffee at this point. Because that's not going to be enough. Over time, it won't be enough. But the fedoras will be enough. So th at least that's okay. I... So let's get... Two of these, we're gonna get. It required more tools, didn't it? Where was it? It was over here. No, I needed corn. New corn. Orders, okay, that's Admiral. good. Corn and some of these. Perfect. Let's go ahead and craft that item. This thing is done, so we're gonna get rid of that. This thing no longer needs to be here. And we can... Oh, we have three forester huts right now. Let's find some open ground. Uh, let's do one in here. One in here. And then one back over here. Why are we... There are a few things to bring up to the Patron. 
Oh, it's because... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I just put down an extra one. I didn't have that before. Okay, I see. I see what the problem is. Let's put that guy right over there. And I... you craft me this. Because this is going to be really big. That way our fish consumption can actually stabilize. Yeah, it's going down. Frigate first class. Let's put this in here. And then I'm going to put this bad boy in there. And that should help, right? I want to imagine it will. I mean, minus 10% is still pretty good. On all the stuff necessary. More than likely, we're going to have to move all of these animal farms at some point. Because the soil quality is going to get so bad if we don't. And we're going to need more. That they just will not want to work. They just do not want to be here at all. And who can blame them? But we're sitting over here at 100 of this. So that's pretty good. I'm glad we stopped this one. Uh, how many do we actually have in the stockpile? We have 30. So is that going to be enough? Yeah, we, we have enough for that. So we're getting pretty close to this. I'm really happy about that. The main thing that this thing actually needs right now is uh, more bricks. So when we get the bricks going, we should be solid. Let me just go ahead and put down another lumberjack cut right over here because it, it went through so much of that ridiculously fast. All right, let's put that there. And that is the episode time right now. So we did a lot of... Uh, micromanaging today and i like that we're working on phase two of the dam and that's pretty good as well trying to really balance the air quality right now it's over the event threshold which thank god for that i, I did not want to actually see acid rain pour over our heads so until next time my incredible incredible rentians please consider like commenting subscribing Hit the bell button, sharing it with your friends. You guys are sharing my content with people, and I'm very appreciative. And I, you guys have even told me who has actually brought you forward to the Imperium. So, we all continue to do that. We will continue to see this community grow, and it will be even more fantastic as time goes on. Consider checking out the Frostpunk uh, start. That is also another city builder. Up to you. It's going to be there. I, I like the game. It's I think it does have some potential to it. But until next time, I will catch you on the next episode, my Rantians.